always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. A break from the rain as we inch closer to the long holiday weekend. CBS 4 Next Weather meteorologist Cindy Presler joins us once more with the latest forecast. Cindy. A little bit on the warm side today. 85 degrees, one degree shy of the record, and it was quite humid too. You probably felt it if you were spending any time out there. Spot shower here and there. Now this evening, most of these showers have dissipated, although we're starting to see a couple of showers popping up. Northern Broward County over the line into Palm Beach County. And look how there's just stationary, just boom, right there. There's there is moisture available in the atmosphere. It looks like it's a little bit better to the north, but these showers are still surviving over here in Monroe County as well, trying to drift off to the west. It's the sea breeze front with that easterly wind pushing it that direction. And the reason that we have the coastal flooding really doesn't have to do with the rain. It's the high tides, the king tides that we're dealing with. Water levels come up. Sea level rise, this all has something to do with that. So low areas, coastal areas, beaches, those roads along the uh, coastal areas, those are the ones that are going to be flooded. We get close to high tide and that's coming up uh, this evening. 809, this will be at Key West, but those high tides are much sooner at 815 if you get to Isla Morado. But look at this up here in Miami and the Fort Lauderdale area, 722. So you really got to be careful with those roads. We saw the flooding this morning. That's going to probably happen again tomorrow morning so you can plan on it. It's going to be a slow go there with those high tides and tomorrow morning. Chance for showers really kind of dissipates. Overnight we should just be partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. Those winds will die down out of the east about 5 to 10 and then tomorrow morning dry. Here's this pop up shower again. He got that sea breeze front coming in that provides a lift. There is a little bit of juice, some moisture, so you get a pop up shower. This is not going to be right widespread though. Even Thursday afternoon on Thanksgiving you could see a pop up shower. It is a possibility. Not going to really in your beautiful Thanksgiving day though. This frontal system has been sitting down here for several days. It's finally going to wash out and go away to be replaced by the next one that's coming in. Although we do have a front that's moving south, there's no moisture with it that kind of dies out. So if you're going to be traveling anywhere across Florida, for tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, conditions look good. Temperatures will be mild even as far north as northern Florida, topping out in the 70s up there. But of course, we're going to be in the 80s. And Black Friday on Friday, very nice as well. We should be dry. Temperatures topping out in the mid 80s. And yes, this is well above average. We're going to stick with this again Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then Sunday. Here comes the front. OK, let's drop the temperatures at least a couple of degrees. Drier air comes in behind, but still, this is not bad for this time of the year.